Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Yes Academy. So guys, you must have seen the title of this video that is nothing but the how does the LCD works. Guys, we are surrounded by the LCDs. These LCD monitors are everywhere around us. The televisions, the laptops, the screen of your smartphones, smartwatches that having the LCD panel equipped. Also in the hospital industries, the all the equipments they have in the LCD panels, the automobiles, the like in the every manufacturing industry, in the every sector, this LCD panels are used. So this is nothing but the use of the LCD is widespread. They're having a lot of application of the LCDs in our everyday life. So guys, over here in our today's video, we are going to learn how does this LCD panel works? What are the you know different parts in the LCDs and the some of the advantages and disadvantages of the LCDs in our today's video. So if you are new over here on my education channel Ingenious Academy, kindly subscribe it and please press the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new educational informative video, you will get instant notification. So without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic of LCDs. So guys, the screen of your laptop, that is nothing but the LCD display. It uses the LCD display. The LCD stands for liquid crystalline display. So guys, over here, this particular LCD display is nothing but the array of a small, small pixels. So when you uh, turn on the, uh, like the, when you see the specifications of the LCD panel, it says that the way the resolution of that particular LCD that is nothing but the number of the pixels that is arranged horizontally and the vertically. So each pixel that is nothing but the smallest dot on the screen. That particular each pixel is having three layers that is of RGB. That is red, green and blue. This particular RGB produces the light. This particular RGB combines and forms and it produces the different lights such as it can produce like RGB together can form white light, can produce the white light. So suppose in your that particular uh, LCD screen, that is the three RGB combined and that is three red, green, blue lights combined and they can contribute and they can form a bright white color. So over here guys, these are, this is nothing but the small, small pixels. That particular pixels is having the red, green, blue these are nothing but the sub pixels are there that is arranged in the array now beside these particular pixels like when you go into the detail this particular pixels is having this liquid crystalline panel over here these are the two filters that is arranged that is nothing but the vertical filter and the horizontal filter these particular two filters are nothing but the polarized filters that is nothing but the vertical polarized filter and the horizontal polarized filter. These are the two filters and they having the coating of the glass. That is the glass sheets, thin glass sheets are there. So over here guys, now I'm talking about the construction of this LCD panel. This particular LCD panel at the extreme end that is having a backlight that is made up of the fluorescent lamp or fluorescent bulb. That particular bulb produces the light. Now that produced light is the is not a streamline. Like we can say that this particular produced light is the not in a straight line. The light rays are dispersed around. Like we can say we can see over here. This is nothing but the formation of that particular light from that fluorescent bulb. Now this ununiform light that is. That is, we have to filter that light. So that's why we have used the vertical polarized filter. Now, this particular vertical polarized filter, this is acts as a sunglasses. That is the polarized glasses. So this particular polarized glasses reduces the glares. Over here, this vertical polarized glass filters out the unwanted rays of light and it only allows the vertical light to pass through it. Then this particular vertical light passes through that particular vertical filter and then it moves into the main essential component of the LCD. 
that is nothing but the liquid crystals so over here this liquid crystals these are of three types and the main property of the liquid crystals is to bend the light to 90 degree that is the main function that is the main primary function of this liquid crystal to bend the light into 90 degrees over here guys this liquid crystals is having the three main types or we can call it as a, it has having a three main phases that is nothing but the nematic phase smectic phase and cholesteric phase so over here the in our conventional lcd panels the liquid crystals that is used that is twisted pneumatic liquid crystals and this twisted pneumatic liquid crystals bent the vertical polarized light into 90 degree into the horizontal layer and again after that horizontal light is allowed to pass through the horizontal polarized filter over here means suppose any light that is not perfectly horizontal like the light rays are uneven then that particular uneven rays of light gets uh, like uh, reduced and those particular light rays are eliminated to pass from that horizontal polarized filter so over here guys in this uh, lcd panels there are two filters that is vertical polarized and the horizontal polarized and the main function of this polarized filter is to reduce the unwanted light to pass through that particular filter. Over here, when that light, horizontal light passes from the filter, after that, the, again, there is a color filter is there. That particular color filter filters the light as per the wavelengths into the red, green and blue, into the pixels. So, according to that, the red, green and blue these lights glows, these pixels glows and these pixels forms an image on the screen. So now over here, it means everything is depends upon the light. It means the light that is, we have to control the light by using the liquid crystals over here. So that is done by using, applying the voltage across the, this liquid crystals. So when we apply the voltage across the liquid crystals, it bends and it also bends the light. So when we apply the more voltage, it bends more. So it allows the certain wavelength of the light to pass through it. It controls the amount of the light passing through it. So this is how this LCD that is liquid crystalline displays works. So over here guys, the main function is that like when we apply the voltage to the liquid crystals it bends it also bends the lights and by using the filters by using the two word filters that is the vertical and the horizontal filters we are filtering the light and then that particular light is passing through the rgb filter that is red green and blue and according to that we will be getting the image on the screen so this is very much simple and this is how this lcd panels work so guys, before the discovery of the LCD panels, we were using the conventional CRT televisions. This is the heavy bulky box of the CRT that uses the cathode ray technology. That particular technology gets eliminated by using this particular LCD. This is LCD is the thinner one than that of the uh, CRT. This is the cheapest technology and we can carry this particular LCD displays anywhere. Like it is portable one than that of the conventional CRDs. So guys, when we talk about the advantages of the LCDs, it consumes a less power. The less power consumption occurs over here in the LCDs than that of in the CRDs. Less cost than the CRT. It also provides a better resolution and a better contrast than the CRT cathode ray tube. This particular uh, LCD, this is very lightweight and that is very thin. This is nothing but the added advantage over here in the case of the LCDs and when we talk about the electromagnetic emission that is the radiation the very little amount of the electromagnetic radi electromagnetic radiation occurs over here in the case of this LCDs when we talk about the disadvantages of the LCDs that is nothing but the limited viewing angles like we cannot view the screen of your television from 
120 degrees or from the 170 degrees. It requires the additional light sources that is nothing but the over here the backlight is used. So this particular backlight is nothing but the fluorescent lamp that is used over here in this LCDs, which is used to produce the light. Also, over here the speed is very much low, around like the response time is very much low, around 1 to 10 milliseconds. That is uh, very slower than compared to OLED and LED displays basically. Also, it does uh, having a low reliability. So, so guys, this is nothing but the disadvantages of this uh, LCD panels. So guys, I hope you understood our today's topic of the LCD. This is how the LCD works. If you having any queries, any doubts, you can comment below. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my educational channel, Genesis Academy. Thank you so much guys for watching this educational video. Please stay tuned for more interesting educational videos.